Okay, so on today's adventure, I'm trying to talk about sexual transmutation. Let's go. So before we get into talking about sexual transmutation, we need to talk about what is the chin, the chi, and the shin. So much more nature. The jin is related to your sexual energy which is the life force energy and we have the chi which is prana the breath is chi which is life energies and we have the shin which is the combination of both we can represent this as the spiritual energies in the past due to social conditioning not knowing myself and not knowing my sexuality you know, I got stuck in patterns of you know, energy and releasing my semen. But now, I know the power of semen retention. I know the power of cultivating your sexual energy and your life energies for your spiritual gains and your purpose. That is what is driving me now. I'm letting go of the ways of the world and I'm starting to govern myself. Using my sexuality. Yo, vlogging with my motherfucking camera is not an easy work. <laughs> it's not an easy work. I got a whole tripod using to vlog and shit. Anyways, let's get back on the video. Now in these moments with my sexual transmutation practice and my spirituality and just living this lifestyle, I am starting to, you know, retain my semen and um, it's really helping me in realizing my sexual wants and needs because we're all sexual beings. We all have this energy and the more we start to focus on transmutation and using this energy to think and grow rich, we start to be purposeful. We start to feel empowered. We start to realize our true superpowers as human beings. Sexual energy transmutation. What does that encompass? All you need to transmute your sexual energy is your breath and your sexual energy. That's the two components in sexual transmutation. The law of the universe, there's a law of the universe called the law of energy transmutation. Because energy cannot be destroyed, not created. Energy can only be transmuted. So, I mean, we do create what seems like we create energy spiritually. But these energy themselves are just being. Because everything in the universe is just being. That is why if you want to manifest anything, you just have to feel it. Because whatever you want is already out in the universe. That idea, that feeling, that state of being is already there in the universe. You just have to tune in your frequency into receiving that. Now, with practicing sexual transmutation, it involves you breathing, using your mind, Visualizing, so we breathe in from the third eye into the sacral chakra, visualizing the expansion of our breath as we breathe in and as we breathe out, we visualize it expanding even further out and coursing through, you know what I'm saying, our body all the way into our auric field, into our surrounding and you can just keep envisioning it expanding wider and wider and encompasses the whole cosmos you know just use your imagination of where you want this energy to go another key in transmuting your sexual energy is the contraction of your perineum because if we inhale to expand we contract our perineum to contract because life itself is the process of life and death, contraction and expansion. So we have to play with this polarity, this duality. They are the laws of the universe. So 
fuck no one can do as a man in dumb physics and shit. Physics, I mean, you can learn physics from just nature. But the actual laws we need to always use to deduce and observe reality and observe how to be with our life energies and our life forces is the laws of the universe. Now, I don't want to go too extensive into the laws of the universe, but I'm just going to quickly list all 12 that I know. Because it's going to help you knowing this and transmuting your sexual energy. Number one, the law of divine oneness. Everything is one in the universe. I am part of all and all is part of me. Number two, laws of vibration. The language of the universe is vibration. Your state of being, your movement, your momentum. Universe doesn't understand English language. That's made by man. That's logic. Universe understands vibration, which is everything. You know what I'm saying? Because everything has a vibration. Number three, which is the laws of... Uh, if I can remember this, the law of... It's right there. It's right there. Ah, it's right there. Uh, is it the law of attraction? Yeah, I mean, that is one of it. I, I want you guys to get it in order, but... <sighs> Let's come back. So we have the law of attraction. We also have the law of action. We have another law of correspondence. Yes, we have another law of cause and effect. We have another law of rhythm. We have the law of gender, masculine and feminine. We have the law of um, compensation. It's not saying what goes up must come down. Um, what other laws do I know? Yeah, I can't remember all of it right now, but yeah. 12 laws of the universe, there might be more laws, but these 12 laws, because everything is like uh, addiction and subtraction. So you might go on the internet and find out, oh, maybe there's 24 laws, but it still all comes down to the 3, 6, and 9. That is why there's 12 laws. So 1 plus 2 equals 12. And that's me getting into numerology and other stuff. But yeah, back to sexual energy transmutation. Knowing the science of cycling your sexual energy and moving it up through your chakras, awakening things like your kundalini energy, starts to really help you in your purpose and giving what you want to manifest, those charge that is needed. And um, a tool we can use to assist us in this is semen retention. Semen retention is the biggest thing in all of this. Knowing the fact that you as a, as a male, you have this seed, you have this power of attraction. You have this life energy within you that can really give you every single thing you ever wish for if cultivated with love and care. Very powerful guys. Now, as a result of transmuting your sexual energy, you are going to start to get a lot of your unconsciousness coming into the surface for you to be aware about. So whether it's, you know, um, hidden blockages in your energies, you know, negative thoughts and mentalities, things that are here for you to release will start to come up once you start to transmute your sexual energy. Because your sexual energy is going to act as a force to help cleanse you of all distortion, of all that don't know, of all that no longer serves you. This is the power of your sexual energy. Your sexual energy is divine and beautiful and sacred. And society is made us look at it in such a lustful way instead of in a loving way. You feel me? Like, it's made us so skewed in our understanding of love because people always start putting love on a condition. Everything is love. There's no such thing as I love you when you do this. We can have our wants and needs, but we need to know wants and needs are limited. You know what I'm saying? They're limited to your purpose. What is it wants to need if it's just about ple fleshly pleasures? What is it wants to need if it's all about, you know what I'm saying, just low dimensional, mundane, 
bullshit. That's the only way I can call it. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And what I need needs to be something that will not gratify your flesh, but gratify your spirituality. Something that you be grateful for. That's why people don't practice gratitude. Gratitude is also another attitude that is very crucial in sexual transmutation and getting yourself to that spiritual attitude. To climb up the ladder of your chakra and activate your kundalini, gratitude is very essential. Because without gratitude, you can't even get to your heart chakra. Gratitude is the fastest and easiest way to get into your heart chakra. Simply by saying thank you, you can start to feel your heart like, I'm grateful to you for saying thank you. Because your heart talks back to you. So, by transmitting your sexual energy, you can actually start to expand your consciousness. Like, as soon as you start transmitting your sexual energy, your consciousness will tenfold. There's no, there's no even doubt about it. Like, it's going to feel almost overnight. But everything that goes up must come down. So during this moment of you feeling that initial expansion in your consciousness, eventually it's going to level off. And that's going to be like the universe now testing you. Are you devoted to this path of retaining your semen and keep expanding your consciousness? Because like I said, the law of the universe, the law of compensation, you know what I'm saying? Whatever goes up must come down. You expand and contract. So when people get that initial expansion and they gain all the like dopamine and the energies of that, everything to be maintained has to be overcome. To maintain something, you have to be able to overcome it as in you have to be able to hold on to it and you have to be able to also let go of it when it serves its purpose. And I fell victim to that in the past of I didn't know when things serve its purpose and I'm clinging on, you know, I'm attaching. Attachment is the root of suffering. When something is serving its purpose, you need to let it go. You need to let it go because it no longer serves your spirit. It's not about your ego, it's all about your spirit. And by sexual transmutation and retaining your semen, you start to become aware of your spirit. And for all the females, practicing celibacy is basically semen retention for you guys. So make sure you're not masturbating because I know you guys love to do that. You know what I'm saying? Cultivate your sexual energy by Introducing yourself to celibacy and other technologies like Tantra and sacred sexuality. Start transmuting your sexual energy by contracting your vagina, you know what I'm saying? Your kitty, your pussy, whatever you want to call it. Start contracting your sexual organ and, and visualizing the breath, visualizing the life force energy and you know what I'm saying? Everything just mix and mingling, expanding your consciousness and start to become aware of your arousal. In the past, like, I seek intimacy, you know what I'm saying? Everyone, like, that is our birthright. That sense of intimacy, you know what I'm saying? Apart from other birthrights we have, like abundance and all of that, but a birthright of every human being is the sense of intimacy. The set of the the purpose of energy is to seek pleasure, and in those pleasure or intimacy, you see what I'm saying? We all want to be intimate as a human being. And I used to have like almost a fear of intimacy that developed from me watching pornography. And when I became aware of that, I had to get to the root of why. That was the case. And it was through the pattern of me constantly draining myself. You know what I'm saying? Constantly draining myself, that started to develop a sense of self-hate, a sense of unworthiness. And as soon as I started realizing this and I started, you know, embarking on this journey to retain my semen and to cultivate my life energy, everything became easier. Everything started to flow. I started to become more aware of the things I do to sabotage myself. These are the small powers of sexual transmutation. Now imagine once you actually learn and muster that bait, aka 
you must know how to use your sexual organ. Females, you must know how to, you know what I'm saying, how to use. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to put this into words because these are things I'm still experiencing. Like, I'm a teacher of life and I'm a student to life. See, so a lot of the times the stuff I be kicking, like, I'm going through it. I'm learning about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not considering myself to be like this guru that experienced everything and I can like show y'all the way. But I'm here to show y'all you can be the one who governs yourself. You can guide yourself through this simply by being aware of yourself and doing the things to love yourself. Like semen retention, like celibacy, like sexual transmutation. And by transmuting the sexual energy, you're aligning your energy. Your chin, your shin, and your chi can all unite and work in harmony. You, you become spiritually inclined. You know, and this video is kind of all over the place because it's a vlog and I'm teaching and you know, I'm just going with the motion. A lot of times, like, I be forgetting the structure of the video. I got my book because I always like to structure my stuff. But this video being one of you structured, it just went to be everywhere, especially because it's mad windy as well. And um, like I'm just talking at this moment. I'm just talking to you know, and when the message comes, the message comes. So as a result of me, you know, using all the technologies and using my knowledge and my wisdom to transmute my sexual energy by contracting my perineum, breathing, you know, learning, entertaining things with my attention that's feeding my spirit, always having that intention to raise my vibration, knowing the purpose of my life, literally, is to retain my seed. Because your seed is the tree of life. Kundalini energy. You guys need to research this. It's something you already know. I'm only reminding you what you already know. And for you to really start to develop the belief and action, you got to research yourself. And you got to start meditating so you can tune into this energy yourself. Because experience is the best teacher. And experience is what will make you believe without a shred of doubt. And that is why experience is so powerful. Experience is the greatest teacher to human beings. The purpose of our spirit, the, G, the purpose of life itself on the purest level is simply to experience life for what it is. The purpose of our energies, the creation of our spirit is to seek pleasantness, to create harmony, to create sex sexual energy you see what i'm saying so your spirit creates the sexual energy so by using it you can become a warrior spirit by transmuting it but when you release it it's just like you're feeding your ego because that is then you just attach it to the construct attaching to the function attaching to the system and not attaching to the creator but it's okay to be attached to the divine and attached to the creator because that's who you are. So you're only gonna just be who you are. But when you start to attach to this physical vessel, to this matrix, is when you're starting to then lose yourself. Anyways, with that being said, I'm gonna leave this video at that. I pretty much covered everything I needed to for this video. I probably make another one of these videos in the future. You know, we better storytelling and structure. This was just like a little vlog. I felt guided to do this, and I just want to start dishing out more content. You know, I want to start dishing out content often. I want to stop overthinking because I'm doing this to serve my purpose, and I'm also doing it to learn. <laughs> and I'm also doing it to learn. You feel me? So. For me to face my issues, you know what I'm saying? For me to face my problems, I have to do my purpose. And right now, I don't want to even overthink. Because overthinking is where most time I be going wrong and I get myself lost. When I overthink.
would think. Now I'm just trying to have an idea. I like the idea. I'm gonna act on it with radical action. <laughs> Real life. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the fuck out of the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn up post notification to join. Oh uh, wait, turn up post notification to get notified when I drop another video. And join Supreme Team Inspirations because we're lit. Peace, love, and positive vibration.